The Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, has denied depriving the Nigeria Postal Service, NIPOST, of discharging its duties. This was disclosed in a statement signed by the agency's spokesperson, Abdullahi Ahmad, on Tuesday. The chairman of the NIPOST, Maimuna Abubakar, in a series of tweets, accused the FIRS of stealing the mandate of NIPOST. She said the FIRS responsible for assessing, collecting and accounting for tax accruing to the federal government had begun printing stamps. She called on Nigerians to ensure that NIPOST gets justice. And in its response on Tuesday, the FIRS said the power to collect stamp duties resides within it and not NIPOST. Joining us now is Tunji Andrews, who is an economist to make sense of all of this conversation. Good to have you, Tunji. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, good day, actually. Thank you <laughs> right. for having me. It's good morning somewhere in the world, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go straight yeah. into the matter. Now, the government agency, two government agencies, ra rather, having uh, going at each other over stamp duties. Do you think it is actually if a case of overlapping functions? Um, yes, I think it is. And um, it also emanates from uh, the definitions both agencies are having to the issue. Um, stamp duty as, a, as, an, as an entity uh, is created by the Stamp Duty Act, uh, which was first um, instituted in Nigeria in 1939, uh, reviewed in 1990, 2007 also. Um, and basically it lies with, the, uh, those powers lie with the uh, Postmaster General. And that means that um, the, the night post is the entity that is supposed to collect it. But the FIRS has um, basically determined it as a tax. And if you look at the um, Nigerian uh, uh, structure, uh, the FIRS is the uh, body in charge of collecting taxes from, uh, for on behalf of the federal government. So it's, it's, a, it's an issue of um, definitions and both of them looking at the same coin uh, from different sides. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you make of the drive by both agencies, you know, to raise uh, revenue? As NIPOS recently released some guidelines for dispatch businesses. Um, so, revenue for the government is, is um, it looks lucrative for most agencies because there is um, a sort of um, staying, uh, some, some, some of those funds will stay with any agency that collects it on behalf of the federal government um, in, in terms of funds you use to generate the tax. Uh, so I think that is probably what is causing this back and forth and what is causing um, even my post to be upset and, you know, speak about uh, stealing of the mandate. Because honestly, if you look at it from the perspective of NIPOS, this could probably uh, become a major revenue earner for NIPOS because mm -hmm. if you look at it, Almost every transaction over every transaction over ten thousand naira will obviously uh, be uh, you'll be paying stamp duty on it. And if Night Post can somehow uh, be the one, the revenue agency collecting this, the turnover will be huge. Uh, the the amount that will stay with them will also be huge. So they are thinking about it from that perspective. Uh, but yes, um, I think it's it's also a mandate from the government to increase your revenue collection. And Night Post is just trying to do its own part. All right. Sp speaking of NIPOST, uh, there, what are your thoughts on the new policies for delivery businesses? You know, with recent COVID-19 pandemic, is this really helpful for entrepreneurs? Um, it's not. Um, I, I think it's, uh, but I, I think it's a bit high-handed. I, I think also it's insensitive to the times we're living in. But if you've ever dealt with NIPOST um, prior to now, you will know that this is NIPOST. This is the way they operate. Uh, they just they they seem to be only concerned with revenue collection as against um, service delivery. Um, so um, I think about it from the perspective that Nipos is just really thinking about themselves at this particular point and not really concerned about whatever um, the Nigerian situation or the Nigerian uh, um, um, person is feeling the pinch. But small small businesses who have um, recently set up um, delivery services to try and you know, just gain some small revenue for themselves will be crying right now. And um, those new fees and those new laws by NIPOS 
has effectively killed a lot of businesses. Right. I mean, there are also other conversations in different quarters, you know, saying Nipost has lofty <laughs> dreams like Amazon, you know, wanting to be able to operate a successful delivery business across the country. I'm wondering, what's your thought on this? Um, I want to first apologize for rolling my eyes. It was reflex. Um, but I, I, I don't think so. Um, if, you, if you've ever been to a night post office, you really understand that it is the epitome of the Nigerian ministry, quote-unquote. Quote Amazon is a vibrant, um, young, dynamic company, despite how huge and uh, humongous Amazon is. Uh, night post will take a lot of hiring, a lot of um, evolution to become anything close to even Jumia in Nigeria talk less of Amazon. Um, so I, I don't think it is. I think they're just trying to speak tough. But generally, let's be very clear. That is one thing that is very obvious. And it is the fact that um, um, Amazon is trying to pursue uh, the revenue collection. And that is all they are concerned with. All right. Tunji Andrews, economist there. Thank you very much for your thoughts. And do keep safe out there. Thank you very much for having me. Thank <laughs> you.